So we've made some exciting new updates to our chart configs and I just wanted to make a quick demo showing some of them because um, they're pretty cool. So I already have a table with some results in it set up in the Jaffle Shop demo. I'm using the Payments Explorer and I'm trying to answer the question, how many orders are our users making? And does when they were created have any effect on this? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a scatter plot because that's the plot type that's best suited for correlation analyses. And then I'm going to click on configure. Now you'll see that this configure space has updated a bit. The biggest thing that I think is really impressive is that you can now put anything you want on the x-axis, on the y-axis, or in the group. So that means you can plot dimension versus dimension uh, charts. So you can do metric versus metric charts or the classic like dimension versus metric chart. So here I'm going to apply my customer count on my x-axis. Um, sorry, the order count on the x-axis, customer count on the y-axis, and then I'm going to group by the customers created out week. Uh, I'm going to re relabel my axes. So instead of calling it unique order count, I'm going to say total number of orders. Um, my y-axis is total number of users. And then the other neat thing that we can do now is we can plot some value labels onto our chart. Cool. So now I have a metric by metric uh, chart and I've grouped by my dimension. So this is really helpful for correlation analyses or anything where you're really trying to identify a pattern between two metrics. And I'm able to plot my value labels and I'm able to relabel my axes. And these are just a couple of the new things that we've added with our chart configs. So I'd recommend that you go and check it out and try out some chart configs for yourself and see if you have anything that you'd want to update.